eBanks is a Brazilian fintech that looks to bridge the access gap between consumers in South America and international merchants like Spotify, Airbnb and Uber. And it's now expanding its operations across Central America. eBanks offers payment solutions for tens of millions of people in Latin America so that they can utilize the supplies and services of global companies, as mentioned. Now, joining us now is eBank's co-founder and CEO, Alphonse Voigt. Alphonse, fantastic to have you on the show. We'll talk about your expansion plans in a moment, but I just want you to explain the vision and what you're already providing to people in Mexico and Brazil. My sense is that you're trying to provide access to international services and products as easily as these people could access domestic supplies at home. Hi, Julia. It's a great pleasure to be here with you at CNN International. Yes, the whole idea behind eBanks when we, we founded the, the company back in 2012 was to give access to people. Because especially for us Brazilians uh, and also, and then we realized that, that the issue that we're solving in Brazil were also happening in other countries of Latin America. It's very hard for us to do international purchases. So, so that was the, the, the idea at that time, giving access to people. If people can go online and they can buy from uh, its home country, they should be able to buy as easy as possible uh, into international uh, merchants, guys like Alibaba. So that was the, the idea when we, we, we launched the banks nine years ago. Yeah, another company. You mentioned Alibaba that you're, you're working with. I mean, you're harnessing two waves, the rise of digital payments and also the rise in e-commerce. And we've got a great chart that we've taken from one of your reports that looks at e-commerce proliferation pre-pandemic and then the forecasts post-pandemic. And the rise is pretty astonishing. It's huge, Julia, because of uh, even before the pandemic, uh, e-commerce was already growing a lot, uh, different to other sectors uh, in our economy. But after the pandemic, uh, from one day to another, everyone, uh, local shops, everyone should go online quick in 24 hours. So, and then of course, it did rise a lot in all sense, in all directions, and uh, we're here. We're here helping uh, users and e-commerce to, to sell more each other from Brazil, out of Brazil, Latin America. So we've, it, it's been very intense days for everyone involved uh, in e-commerce and online transactions after the, the pandemic started one year ago. We'll talk about that in a second because I want to ask how you guys are doing in Brazil because I know it's incredibly tough at the moment. But talk to me about your expansion plans because if we're talking about Central America and I was just showing some of the statistics for the region, you've got super high internet penetration in places like Costa Rica, a relatively high level of the population that's banked. And yet when you look at how many people shop online, it, it's far lower. So again, it's about giving people access to buy online but it's also about attaching them and giving them access to these international brands. Alphonse, these are very different markets from the likes of Brazil and Mexico. Surely this is going to be a huge challenge and you're expanding at a challenging time too. It's a revolution that follows some, some path, Julia. So take, take Brazil as an example. Uh, Brazil started uh, to massify its uh, e-commerce uh, like 10 years ago. And then, uh, and, and also the, the, the online banking uh, population uh, in Brazil was, was much higher than the rest of countries in Latin America. Then uh, the other countries in Latin America, countries like Mexico, Colombia, Chile, Peru, Argentina, uh, the big ones, they did their homework and their online population uh, started to grow as well. But Central America was the one a little bit left behind, and now it's picking up uh, in, in all directions. Even after the, the, the pandemic, the numbers are, are growing, and this is where we're heading. Uh, after we did our expansions out of Brazil, in Latin America, so Central America is the next big theme uh, for us here at eBanks. Who manages the currency risk? 
Curse risk, we, we, we handle this very properly. Of course, US dollars, which is the currency that most of our merchants, they trade their merchandise. And when we sell uh, for these local merchants in uh, the local currency, helping the users of those countries to sell, to buy much more from them, what we do is very simple. We we exchange the local currency for US dollars in the same day of the transaction. So this protects us, protects the user, and most importantly, protects also the merchants. And then anyone of these in this chain are uh, faced to any kind of currency risk. So this is, this is what we're doing since the beginning. Alphonse, you're going to have to keep us updated of your expansion plans, but I just want to ask you quickly, how are you doing? How are your workers doing? Because I know you're, you're facing incredibly challenging times there. Do you have a message to other Brazilians that are watching? It's very tough times, uh, Julia. Yeah, you guys, I, I can feel from your accent, you, you are uh, a British. Uh, and we, we saw that happening first over there. And then we recently saw it happen, this, what we call a second wave, happening in the U.S., uh, and now it's happening in Brazil. Unfortunately, we are the center of the pandemic uh, at this time. So what I have to say to, 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 to my friends from Brazil, stay home. Do whatever you got to do to stop this. Uh, E-banks, we are all working from home. You can notice from my, my background, 1,000 people, not easy. Kids running around in the background. But this, uh, whoever can do this, please do it. Stay from home, work from home, and, uh, and try to help uh, your country to leave this nightmare as soon as possible. Alphonse, great to have you with us. Alphonse, Stay safe, to... please. And we wish you and, and everybody there well.